Hey guys, it's Mary and I'm back again with another plan with me for you guys this time for the month of February and as you guys can probably tell if you guys are Amanda Rach Lee viewers that this theme is the theme of lanterns and this will be a spin-off recreation of Amanda's lantern theme. So like I mentioned in all my other plan with me's, everything will be will be linked in the description box below and also be shown on display in the video or throughout the video so you guys can reference that for your guys' use if you want to recreate this theme. So basically I'm just speeding through everything because I think that it would take a while if I just slowed it down for you guys or put it in normal speed. So I'm just breezing through the mood tracker, the habits tracker, the monthlies page, and now February's weekly spreads. Yeah, I'm just alternating different weeks with different types of themes, so one would be horizontal one will be vertical and then horizontal and vertical again but making it slightly different but also kind of the same if that makes sense you guys will see and for those of you who don't know why I'm doing lanterns this month and that is because this month is or this upcoming month will be lunar new year or I guess Asian new year or however you want to say it but it's officially called Lunar New Year. So basically people would be celebrating the start of the new lunar calendar. It's basically like the new January, but like for a different calendar, if that makes sense. So yeah, people would be dressed up in like new clothing for good luck. People would clean the house to sweep away like the bad luck. There's definitely some superstitions about it during the new year or not about that particular thing, but like a whole bunch of other things that coincide within the new year. So yeah, a little fun fact for you guys for the day. But yeah, so you guys can see me just drawing a whole bunch of lanterns. I don't really know what other lanterns to draw, so you can you guys can you guys see me drawing a whole bunch of the same thing. I'm not really that creative. I mean, I guess I am kind of. I mean, I did create my January plan with me theme on my own, but I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm trying to get into like creating my own things and stuff like that. But for now, I'm just doing a spin-off recreation of Amanda's thing. And as you can see, I messed up because Wednesday, I didn't have enough room for writing the entirety of Wednesday, so I cool trick that I actually used, I think it was one of Amanda's tips. I will leave it in the cards in down below if it is her or some other YouTuber that I saw, but basically I would take the Tombow brush pen and would brush over and alternate in order for it to not look odd and then used a jelly roll pen to basically write the days of the week that are blacked out with the Tombow brush pen. So yeah, that's a, a neat trick that I had learned. And now we're going to the other weekly spreads. I kind of slowed it down a bit because the other method of speeding video clips up was actually way too fast. So. If I did it for the entirety of the video, it would be probably under 10 minutes long, which probably wouldn't be enough for me to explain kind of what I'm doing, so... Or I guess it would be, I don't know, maybe. We'll try it next time, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway... So this is the alternate horizontal spread, which is very similar to the first like I had mentioned. But it is a little bit different because in this particular weekly spread, I'm using the red and the brown that I use with the lanterns.
And then I basically, like, if you see Amanda's lanterns, they're really nice and, like, it has crisp lines and whatever. But I decided to go with, like, a really sketchy type of vibe because I know, like, a lot of the lanterns that are drawn that I see aren't entirely perfect. And even with, like, lanterns that are made in real life, They're not made perfectly as well. So yeah, that's basically the type of vibe I'm going I'm going for. And then I'm also using the little string beads of string. Be beads of string. That's an odd saying. I meant to say string of beads. Because Amanda had it in hers and I thought that was a cool idea, so I had incorporated it into the spin-off. So basically, it's similar- I say spin-off because it's basically like the theme of Amanda's. It's the theme of Amanda's, but I kind of put my own flavor to it, if that makes sense. So not, I'm not drawing all the lanterns the same as hers, I'm not placing everything the same as hers, I'm kind of trying to do my own thing within her theme. And then here I have the quotes page and the doodle for Dut, which is basically the Vietnamese version of Lunar New Year. So, as you can see, I'm just drawing the lanterns for the quote page, and the quote is Hard work puts you where good luck can find you. And I thought that was very fitting for the theme of this month because of Lunar New Year and lanterns and all that good luck. So, I thought that would be a good motivator for me because I have two midterms in February, so hopefully I can flip to this page and kind of be and feel motivated to work really hard for my midterms because your girl really wants to do well in these classes. So yeah, that is basically it for the quote page. I don't really know. I kind of put a, a little bit of like hand lettering, a little bit of like prints. And then here I'm drawing more lanterns and having it hang on branches and writing that and Chuk Mong Nam Mai, which is basically Vietnamese for Happy New Year. And this year is the year of the pig, so that's why you guys see the sketch of the pig right there in the at the bottom where, 20, where it says 2019. And if you guys can't tell already, the reason for me having this doodle page is because I'm Vietnamese. So yeah, fun fact. I mean, I guess if you do, if you see my last name, you, you could tell because it's a very common last name for Vietnamese people. So I'm just gonna leave that to you and see if you guys can guess what my last name is. But yeah, I thought this was a really cute doodle and it was kind of like something, something of my own that I can incorporate. And that's basically it for the February plan with me. As you can see, I have my habits. I forgot to add in the dots for the habits, but I will go do that after this video is finished. And I have the mood tracker. Basically, I colored in the extra spaces for the lanterns, and I used a variety of these markers to do the trick. As I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, I spread out everything, or I put everything down in the description box, or linked it, and also have it in the video. And I also use a super tip marker 
a red and also a brown. And that's the brain dump, and this is the monthly spread. As you can see, I have the little lantern and the YouTube logo is in lantern form because like Amanda, it was very similar looking to a lantern, so I, or I formulated it to me, or drew it to become a lantern like Amanda did. And then here I have the boxes. I kind of had a clean look on the left and kind of like a rugged look on the look on the right, and that's because calligraphy is kind of something that is not perfect, but also looks very elegant at the same time, so I thought I would incorporate that into the weekly event. I don't know why, I'm getting so deep with these uh, with these explanations. It's kind of funny. Anyway, moving on to the second weekly spread, you can see me doing the lanterns, and this is exactly what Amanda did with one of her spreads, except I did the white and black and black and white all flip-flop of between the days of the week in order to alternate it with the events on top and the task on the bottom in a vertical type of format. And then here we also alternated back to a horizontal spread box. Except like I had mentioned before, it's red and brown to fit with the theme of the lanterns and also the weekly events are at the side. And then here, back to a vertical spread, except with the lanterns, I just decided to do boxes a little bit more simplistic, but I did incorporate the lanterns and tried my best to alternate the color, and then this time I added more brown because we have a lot of red going on. And then here we have the quote page, the finished quote page, and also the doodle page for that. Happy Lunar New Year, and I hope you guys have a good Lunar New Year. And if you are interested in watching my future videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that thumbs up if you like this video as much as I did in recreating and spinning off from it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!